Hello and welcome back to another Tech Articles. Um, I was on the Flomatic Facebook group earlier today and I saw a question and I came to WordPress to try and answer it using Flomatic and I got very deep into two workflows, um, one on the primary, one on the secondary for the question and I thought I've done this before and I haven't done it with Flomatic. I did it using two separate plugins. Um, and I'm not a great fan of the second part of this, the user syncing, the session syncing, because I think there's potential security risks to that. But I thought, actually, this might be one of those circumstances where I wouldn't use Flomatic. And the reason for that is because there are two perfectly great tools for this. So the, the task was, and they're both free um, as well. So actually, this this comes directly from the repo and from github so um the question was how do we sync users between wordpress sites and how can we make it so that they are logged in automatically if they visit the different sites and in this scenario it was a let's say a dot com and then they had several other sites with brand name dot co uk brand name dot fr um they could be subdomains or they could be totally separate domains and i was going to build flomatic pass offs for user controls but that that you're going to have to make some way of syncing the passwords and because we do, we're not doing a, a full database to database copy and it didn't deal with the second half of it the user syncing which the session syncing which i'm sure given enough time and a deep enough workflow i could probably come up with something but this is the this is for me part of the power of Flomatic. You don't have to use it for everything, and what you use it for is to get you round where there isn't a solution. And actually, I believe there is a better solution in this case, at least currently. And uh, Flomatic and Natin, I'm sure, will continue to to do these things with natively within Flomatic. And everything I'm about to show you might one day become native Flomatic. Um, and then you don't need either of these plugins. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the two plugins separately together in the same video. I'm going to start with syncing users. And I'm going to go to the primary site. Um, because the primary site is the, the, in this case, is actually the barest of the sites. I'm going to go to plugins. And to do, to do this video, I'm going to be using two plugins. One is WP Remote User Sync. Um, which is on GitHub, which is here. It's also in the repo, but it's on Git, GitHub. You can you can see it's it's relatively active. Um, and the second is user session synchronizer, and that is here, also on GitHub. Been updated in the last year, um, just over a year actually um again it's in the repo they both still work i've checked them they, they they work fine so i'm going to go over to primary first and the one thing i would say about particularly wp remote user sync you need to think of one of your sites and in the example i gave i'm going to assume they are all top level tlds and then we're going to start with our primary site would be our dot com um and the reason I say that is because you don't want inter-syncing sites. You want a single source of truth. So you want all your sites syncing to one site and that's syncing the data out because otherwise it would become carnage. You'd have sites syncing to sites and and, and you'll, you'll have the risk that the data isn't true and the data isn't correct in the places. So I'm going to start with uh, WP Remote User Sync and I'm going to go through the settings on it. And then I'm going to create a user and we should see that user automatically sync over to the secondary site. And I will show you the site secondary site settings before I do that. So I'm going to go settings on primary and you, I will try to remember to tell you whether I'm on primary or secondary. You can see it in the tabs down here. You can also see it. I've named them primary and secondary here because we are going to do a bit of flipping and flowing between the two. So if I go to settings and in security, you have to set an action encryption key and a signature key. And all I've done for these, and I'm just going to put these on the screen, I'm going to put all of this on the screen, um, is all I've done here is I've 
basically generated these two keys here using Bitwarden. Um, they are just generated passwords, and I've put one in the encryption key, one in the signature key. Now, you must make sure you remember these. You can't see them. You're going to want to save them because any connection site is going to need them. It won't work otherwise. And I've also, as you see here, connect, collected the primary and secondary URLs because they will be needed as well. So you put your encryption key here and your signature key here and save. You go to your remote sites and you add the other site. So in this case, I have added the secondary URL here to here. And then all you, you do that by adding it into this box here and pushing add. And you get options here telling you what you want to sync and how you want to sync them. So this is logins, logouts, create, updates, delete, passwords, roles, and any metadata. And as I said earlier, you want a single source of truth. So all your sites would connect to primary in, in, in my example. Um, so secondary, then we go back to the same um, same on secondary. And you can see I've added primary as a remote site. And in security, I've added the same details here. So in this box here, I've added the encryption key. And in this kit box here, I've added the signature. And that is it. Our sites are set up and they are talking to each other. So in theory, when we open users and we add a user on secondary and it doesn't matter if it's secondary or primary and in my case i'm actually going to add it on primary because we want to prove that it syncs to secondary and in fact i'll add it to both for for, for for this for this purposes so i'm actually going to add it to primary first i'm going to add a user i'm going to add a new user and our user is going to be called Bert. um as i'm going to delete it i'm not going to take the copy of the password i'm going to put my email in here and um, I think that's all I need. So I'm going to add Bert as a subscriber onto primary. And in a second, Bert will be added. Bert is now added on primary. I'm going to go over to secondary. I'm going to refresh the page. And with a bit of luck, Bert appears here. Bert is here. Um, he's, a, he's here. He's done. He's, he's, he's good to go. So that was how quick. It was, and Bert is in. So I'm going to delete Bert on secondary. I'm going to go back to primary, and he should be removed from primary. So Bert's still there. I'm going to refresh this page, and Bert's gone. So I'm going to go back to secondary. See what I mean about flicking between the sites, but I want you to see how interconnected they are. Secondary, I'm going to add a new user, and I'm going to keep Bert this time. So I'm going to take a copy of the password. We're going to add Bert again. We're going to give him my email address. And I'm going to copy his password. And the reason for that is because we're going to log in as Bert later. Um, add new user. He's a subscriber again. Um, I'm going to uncheck the send new user uh, an email about his account because I don't want 100 emails. And I'm going to add new user. Going to close out the Bitwarden item. Bert has been added to our secondary. I'm going to go over to primary and check that Bert is now in primary. And you can see Bert has appeared in primary. So that's the first part of our question done. We have now got, with a free repo-based, GitHub-based plugin, perfect syncing of users. The next set, item this user wanted was to be able for their users to log in on the .com or the .fr and that session to sync so that they didn't have to log in and out of each individual website. So there was a user flow there. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have issues with that on a security basis. Um, because cookie um, stealing is, is becoming a real thing. And that is a way that people are misrepresenting themselves. And the more places you use a cookie, the more you sync it between sites, the more likely it is that um, if somebody is compromised, they'll have access to that entire suite of sites. Um, and in fact, if you if you then topple that with a, a, a plugin that is um, vulnerable, they could take down your entire network using just that cookie and it isn't necessarily that user. But this is what we want to do. This is the mission. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to next open our second plugin, which is user sync session sync. 
Um, this does other stuff. And all I've needed to do here is add a secret key. And this, you'll notice, is the encryption key from earlier. That doesn't have to be the same. I've done that for ease for me um, because I've got it on my on my notebook and I can just copy it in there. And you have to list the domains that are allowed to sync together. And that is primary and secondary in my case. They are the URLs for primary and secondary. And as I say, this is the encryption key that I used earlier. It doesn't have to be the encryption key. And do you know what? I'm going to change it. I'm just going to uh, change it to this password we used earlier um, for our... But so I'm going to save those settings. So that's done on primary. I'm going to go over to secondary. I'm going to go and find user session sync. I'm going to change it here because they have to be the same because this is how they, they know they're talking to each other. And I'm going to wait for that to save. I didn't see that do it so quick. That's done. They are now saved. So I'm, I'm happy that they're in sync. So what I'm going to do now, and hopefully this works, is I'm going to copy Bert's password. I'm going to log out of this site. Um, that's doing that. I'm going to log out of this site. Because I've got two separate admin users. And I'm going to log in as Bert on primary and hopefully that works and, and i'm bert i'm now bert and i'm in primary which is great no i don't want to save the password close down bit warden and, and we're going to secondary and we click on secondary and you'll notice i haven't immediately logged in and there's a reason for that because i've been sent to the login page and actually i'm already logged in um so what i need to do i need to modify this so that I'm going to the front page of the site, like I would if I was a user moving between. That doesn't appear to have worked. Now, I reckon that is an issue because I just logged out of the admin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a Chrome incognito tab. I'm going to drag it over to my screen here. I'm going to copy the two URLs in. And hopefully... This will be clean of those admin cookies. This works. So we've got a site. So I'm going to leave secondary like that because actually I don't need to be sent into the log, log login. So I'll go log in here and I'll come up with Bert and I'll go back to my page with the password on it. And I'll log back into Bert, close down the Bitwarden, and then I'll go to secondary and refresh the page. And all being well, I have automatically synced. So as you saw there, I logged into primary, refreshed secondary, i.e. like following a link, and I was automatically logged into secondary. So I'm going to log out of secondary. I'm going to go back to primary. And I've logged out of primary. So I'm going to go to the front page of primary. I'm going to log into secondary. I will refresh this so I'm not logged in. I'm not logged in. I will put Bert and his password in. Close down the annoying bit warden. I'll go back to primary. I'll refresh the screen and I'm logged into primary. And that's it. My session has been synced between the two installers. Um, and that has achieved what was asked on the Facebook group. Now, I've mentioned that I have, I have personal concerns about session syncing and the issue of that. Um, and I also mentioned that although I believe Flowmatic could probably achieve this, there are circumstances when actually the simplest solution is something that is dedicated to an item. And given that both of these plugins, if I close down this Chrome window now, given that both of these plugins are relatively small, they are still actively used. I, I don't believe, I really believe they're relatively uh, niche products because not many people need that sort of remote sync. But one of the issues that I had with regards to trying to think of a flow for Flowmatic for this, and what prompted me to go back and read what I'd done the last time I did this, um, I do keep quite meticulously, meticulous notes about things I've done so that I can go back and try and redo them if I need to. Um, walling and up, up note for that. Brilliant. Um, and... When I was trying to come up with the flow in my head, I was struggling on password syncing because the password is um, MD5 encrypted within the database. 
I was struggling to work out how I'd sync the password between sites and allow that session transfer. And it was that the users, I could add a user to the site with no issue whatsoever from one site to the next using Flowmatic. I, I could do that in milliseconds. Um, it, it's designed for that with a webhook send on, on new user creation with the details. What I struggled with without a script to change all the passwords on every site after they've been synced across or, or or some other additional workflow where I'd be two or three, four workflows deep or one very long workflow. I tend to prefer to split my workflows up into very small succinct modules rather than one long workflow. That's just a personal preference. And you probably notice that with how I, I do workflows. But one of the reasons I chose this method, I would choose this method over that method is because I couldn't work out how I password sync and for this method to work i believe the passwords need to be the same um because you're using the same cookie which to 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 move between the same session to move between um sites and of course now i have to mention that the other the other concern i have with uh this sort of login is it's a functional cookie so it's fine but it is a cookie and um obviously there's gdpr implications for that it's not really it's a functional cookie that's within the limits of uh gdpr as long as your privacy policy said it was okay but um yeah this is how i would do it these are the two plugins i will put i'll leave a link to the two repo repos here in on github um but actually this this is what i would use and this is how i would do it so yeah if you like this video um please like subscribe um get notified for new videos and um if you want me to look into something if you want me to 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 try and provide you with a solution with what i know i'll either research it or try and produce a video on it um yeah leave it in the comments leave it on a facebook group you never know when i which one i might find next um thanks for watching